Hi everyone, my name is Mukesh Kala. Today I have got a very interesting news to share with all of you, which I have been working for quite a long, but now it's the time I can reveal it to all of you. I am very much thrilled to announce my partnership with Graphy by an Academy. They have given me a platform to launch my own courses, and I am happy to announce that my first course is already live on the channel. But but before directly jumping to the course i have one more exciting announcement to make for the first 100 enrollments or the first 100 learners we are going to give a 30 percent off on the course so if you enroll today and you are among the first 100 students you would be getting a 30 percent discount the coupon code is shared in the description or it would be already applied in the website now let me go back to the website and show you where can you find the course what all is covered and what will you gain if you complete that course okay so this is how the website look like you have to go to a website which is called mukeshkala.graphy.com i will directly post the link in the description as well this is a platform which is called graphy and graphy is supported by an academy and in the website this is our channel logo as you can see in the about you would find a little bit about myself when you scroll down you would have a button which is called explore the courses so if i click on that as of now i only have my first course which is already available so the course name is uipath orchestrator fundamentals as of now it is listed at 2599 this price keeps on changing and as you can see some of the members are already signing up i can see sumit also signed up thank you sumit if you are looking at this video thank you so much uh, if i go to the course which is uipath orchestrator fundamentals here as i have promised for the first 100 students we are getting an offer of early 30 right you just have to click on this button which is called buy now and you would be saving 800 rupees on this course right i can see vivek mohapatra also enrolling for the course thank you vivek and you click on continue you proceed with the payment right but now what exactly there is for you so if you are someone who is getting started in the uipa journey and you know a little bit about orchestrator you are working as a developer but you want to know more insights this course is strictly for you now i quickly want to show you what exactly is the course content okay so if you see here this is what you are going to learn but if you come down you would see the modules we are going to start with something which is called the platform introduction and environment setup so i am thinking that you guys are absolute beginner to the orchestrator not to ui path but to orchestrator we are going to start with the overview of ui path platform explaining the three components orchestrator studio assistant then i am going to define the orchestrator we are going to set up the orchestrator from fresh so i would be taking a new email id and i would be creating the orchestrator then i'll also guide you how do you install the uipath studio in case you don't have it already and then how do you connect your uipath studio to the orchestrator right so that would be the setup module once that is done in the next chapter we are going to explore the functionalities what are the benefits we are going to see what are the important definitions and all of this is covering the modern experiences folders packages processes and jobs once that is done we will explore the modern one right what exactly are tenants what exactly are folders how do you differentiate between the tenant and the folder what is the relationship between them and then we are also going to see which all entities are there in the orchestrator which are at tenant and which all entities are there which are at the folder level okay post that from here there would be some theory plus practical which means that we are going to see how does a packet travel from studio to orchestrator to an assistant we are going to create a new solution from scratch i will code a new code which would be a small automation because we are focusing more on orchestrator we would do the coding we would do the packaging we would deploy the solution we are also going to cover how do you add a new computer and how do you connect without signing in and with the help of machine keys that is also covered in this chapter once that is done 
we are also covering how do you set up unattended automation or in other words how do you set up unattended robot whenever i have to run the automations in a logged machine i need to set up an unattended automation and in the modern folders there are different different steps which we as a developer need to complete that all steps i am doing step by step because as we are creating a new orchestrator so i would have nothing so i would need to follow along with you guys right after that there is a new module which is called access group roles permission we are going to see what are manage accesses what are the default groups how can you create your own custom group uipath modern folders has also a concept of personal workspaces we are going to see what exactly is personal workspaces how do you utilize that what exactly it has to do with the marketplace activities that is also we are going to cover in this new gets the next module is on new gets where we are going to cover how do you manage upgrade works with the new get if you have already a process how do you upgrade how do you roll back how do you manually deploy the new gets if you don't have access to the orchestrator how do you deploy the process how do you roll back all of that we are going to cover in this new gets then the next would be working with jobs and logging what are the different stages of the jobs what is logging which all activities we have to use we'll move to the next step where we are going to talk about assets different kind of assets credential management how do you work with passwords where do you store the password which activity to use how do you get the credential set the credential we are also going to see the deployment how do you deploy the process triggers time trigger versus queue trigger when to use what and we are also going to see the monitoring audits between all of that right so this is the complete course which is available on graphy.com I'll post the link in the description and I would appreciate your feedback on this course and also tell me what other course you would like to see right on this. So this would be my first partnership. Thank you so much always for supporting and providing me the valuable feedback on the channel, on the courses, on my email. I receive a lot of feedback. Thank you so much for always supporting. With that, I would like to wrap this video here. Thank you for watching and happy automation.